This way, the people that have the money to pay for it, they're going to be required to pay for it. And not just required, they're going to be expected because they won't have any control over it. It's going to be pulled straight out of your account. Now, you want more good news? Go to page 735. Type in 735 in that page box and go to 735. Encourage, as appropriate, the development and use of clinical registries and the development of clinical effectiveness research data networks from electronic health records, post-marketing drug, and medical device surveillance efforts and other forms of electronic health data, blah, 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 blah. Medical device surveillance. Medical device surveillance. What do you think of when you think of surveillance? What are they trying to survey? Better yet, who are they trying to survey? Medical device surveillance. They will be able to survey. In other words, this is a radio frequency transponder. It's sending a signal. You're going to be plugged into a, one of the largest surveillance projects out there in history when you have your little right-sized implant put in your body. Friends, I want you to think about what we just showed you. Other than RFID Canada's website, which is the manufacturer of the product itself, or it's one of the manufacturers of an RFID chip, the other two websites that I took you to, all that information is still out there right now, right this moment. You go out there now, it's there. Remember, the first website is housedocs.house.gov slash rules slash health slash 11 underscore A-H-C-A-A dot PDF. That's where you're going to find all the wording and verbiage in the House Bill 3962. Then FDA.gov has the information to back up what a Class II device is from this particular House Bill. So I'm sending you to not bloggers, I'm sending you to websites where you can back this info up yourself. Now, I'm just assuming what they're going to use all this for because they're the ones tying all this together. They're the ones putting these pieces together for us. Are we that gullible where we're sitting back here going to look at all these pieces falling into place in front of our eyes and assume that can't be what that is? That was just in a movie back in 1993. There's no way that this is going to happen to me now. That guy's just a conspiracy theorist. Folks, this is real stuff going on. This is one of the ultimate pieces for control. Who's okay with that? And don't, don't ask me. Don't, I don't want you guys emailing me. How are they going to do this? They better not come to my house. I, I understand all that. I get all that. I've been down that same road. And I've been in even more and more trouble the more that I uncovered because I want to believe that there's, there's no way. Now, again, I'm not approaching this from the mark of the beast or a rapture standpoint. That's not what this is about. This is not a, uh, a religious program. This is about real stuff that they're trying to push through. Now, you make it whatever you want. But the federal government passed a law to where the secretary is going to have full control over this health care bill. In that health care bill is a mandate to put an RFID chip into human beings. They have deadlines of when they're supposed to do this. The time for adoption for the bank information is not later than two years after the date of the enactment of this section. The secretary shall adopt standards under this section by interim final rule. So that would put them, uh, if my math is correct, this year, 2012, basically mandating that the banks, banks allow all this to happen. So there's got to be wheels in motion already. Anybody out there who works at a banking institution, if you've seen something kind of unusual that looked like it was going to allow for immediate payment of something down the road, but there's no piece in place now to allow for that, that's probably what this is. Now, for the other piece of it, as far as uh, the chips being implanted, the effective date for that is, uh, let's see, the Secretary of Health and Human Services shall establish and begin implementation of the registry under Section 519, blah, 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 no later than a date that is 36 months after the date of the enactment of this act, uh, without regard to whether or not final regulations to establish and operate the registry have been promulgated by such date. So that gives, gives you and I until next year, 2013. That's 36 months after when they pass this thing. Now, anyone that thinks this is a conspiracy theory, go ahead and elect, re-elect Barack Obama <laughs> and see if this doesn't take place. Do you remember that NDAA uh, law that they passed at the end of last year, in December of 2011, where Barack Obama came out and made that statement that, oh, I can't believe they put all this in. Now, this is wording that he put in there to detain American citizens without just cause. 
Do you remember that? All that wording was in there? He put that wording in there. Then he came back out and wrote a statement after the bill. He signed the bill into law saying, yeah, it's in here, but I'm never going to use that. You wonder why that's in there? When they show up, and again, I'm not saying this is, this is going to be, I'm not trying to make a movie out of this. But when they show up at your house, let's assume the worst. They show up at your house to say, hey, look, we've been sending you letters to come get your chip and your implant. And you haven't done it yet. It's time for you to come. When you refuse, then what? They have, they have the authority to lock you up. They, technically, they've got a reason. They don't need the NDAA to do that. They've got, you, you're breaking the law. Now, I really do believe that a lot of conservatives out there and libertarians probably believe that this is going to take place. You can go to these websites and confirm that for yourself and you're going to believe it. But it's the liberals out there that I don't get. It's the liberals that talk about, oh, you're trying to control a woman's body. It's the liberals out there that I don't get because they're the ones that, that have the platform of not wanting, oh, we don't want you to control this. And then you allow this man to control what he's doing right now, which is controlling everybody's body, possibly their bank accounts. Do you not see what could happen if this man gets reelected? Do you not see that? Do you not see that this man is going to take full advantage of every possible thing that he can? All this is part of his plan. This is not something small. This is not a little thing. We have got to get anybody else, anybody besides Barack Obama in that White House this November to keep this from happening. And you have got to call your congressmen and women and tell them, do not let this happen. Don't let somebody else get in that White House and do the same thing like this. Because again, we've already seen signs that there's, there's some bipartisan agreement involved here. A lot of this stuff, like the chips and all that, that, that are put out there to allow for this, a lot of that stuff was put into place in 2004. These Class II devices were designed and, and basically uh, the FDA was allowing these back in 2004. This is not, Barack Obama, don't give this man so much credit as you think he thought this up. He's just taking some of the tools that's already been put in place by him. You can call it what you want. Call it New World Order or whatever you want to call it. Big Brother, whatever. There's, there's something bigger going on here, and it's not just a partisan issue. We've got to quit thinking in terms of partisanship. You don't think that for some reason these two sides know that as long as they keep everybody divided with this partisanship, that this kind of stuff can slide through because you'll think there's no way my side goes, is going along with that. Each side thinks their side is innocent of, of stuff like this. Each, each side thinks that, I'm talking about the voters, each side thinks that, oh, there's no way my guys would do that. It's them trying to do that. And the other side thinks the exact same thing. But yet both sides are colluding to make these same things happen. Again, I challenge everybody to go to these websites, confirm everything that I've said, all the information that we put out here, it, it's out there. Folks, I'm just looking out for myself and my family. And after that, it's my fellow brother. We've got to look out for each other here. No one is looking out for us. It's, it's imperative that we take this information and run with it. Go to your congressperson. Look them up. You know what? Ask them to explain this. If you think that we're just putting pieces together and arbitrarily throwing things together that don't make any sense, you know what? Take these exact same documents that we have right here. Take them to your Congress people. Email them. And you tell them, you explain this to me. What do you mean by this? Make them explain themselves. Don't let them dismiss this. Because you have the perfect argument by saying, it's on your website. Now you tell me why you allowed it to be there. And if it's not supposed to be there, why is it there? It's part of a law. It's in place. Make them explain that. Make them explain it away. Don't let them dismiss it. Make them explain it away. I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. Like a spider monkey. If you'd like to send us a comment or email about ThinkTown USA or any of our topics, go to www.thinktownusa.com and click on the Contact Us link. Or you can email us at thinktownusa at gmail.com.